All right, well, today we're gonna build some brackets. We're gonna measure them out, make sure they're square because we don't any want any wonky lines. Um, I'm gonna make them three and a half inches long so that there's only a inch and a quarter on either side because <clears throat> these are gonna go on the, the bottom of the boards and it's a two by six. <clears throat> and uh, that's wide enough to support the board and then I can get, you know, as many brackets as I need out of these two pieces. <clears throat> uh, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start out by measuring three and a half inches. Then we use our square to make sure that the lines will be straight. So I'll just cut that out and cut a bunch of those and uh, it'll be done. Um, I'm going to mark the rest of these out and then I'll start cutting. Okay, I've got this measured out in three and a half inch uh, lengths and um, <clears throat> now all of these aren't going to be exactly three and a half because there is what's called the kerth and that's the amount of material that your blade takes out. So when you cut this, it's not going to be exactly three and a half inches. It'll be a little bit shorter, but um, the project that I'm doing doesn't have to be super precise. I'm just making support brackets. If it was something that needed to be fit really tight, I wouldn't do it this way. Um, I would, uh, you know, measure this one, cut that one, then measure the next one, cut that one because they'd have to be very precise. But this doesn't matter. This is just some little brackets I'm making. Um, but now I'm gonna start cutting them out. Hey, all right. Well, first things first, safety. Need some, some gloves and some eye protection because you don't want to get metal in your eyes. That's no fun. And I got a clamp here. I'm gonna clamp this down to the table. Probably better if we clamp it that way. There we are. It's clamped. All right, now <clears throat> we can uh, cut it this way. Well, that's one down, uh, 20 to go. Well, 
well now that I've got all the the brackets cut I'm going to on one side mark the center and drill a hole there and on the other side mark for two holes because on the one hole side that's going to go on the frame then I'm going to have two holes on this side to uh, hold the board in place and I think that should be you know enough to support it all right get out of here pencil you don't mark very well Okay, let's see what the center of this is. So three and a half would be one and three quarters. Because three is one and a half and one and a half. Then you split a half and it's a quarter. So a half plus a quarter is three quarters. So one and three quarters is the center. And then this way, it's two inches, so one inch. So, there's our center. Right there. Now the other way, you have to split it in, so into two, or into three. So one inch, plus you split a half into three, and that's an eighth. So one and an eighth from either side. This one is just a little above it. And then this one is a little below it. Right there. So I have to drill that and that. <laughs> I'm going to mark out the rest of these and then we'll do the drilling. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. I don't have a vise, but I do have a clamp and a brick, so I'm making it happen. So I took uh, something and I punched my holes so that the drill bit doesn't move around. And then uh, I've got a little box down here to catch all the shavings in. I just, I don't want to get metal everywhere. <clears throat> There's our hole. <laughs> now I got to do the other two. You guys know how I like to invent stuff. <laughs> okay, so I have a better plan instead of the brick. I have a board and two clamps. <laughs> um, so that clamp is holding the board to the table and that one holds the piece to the board and then whenever you drill through it it can just drill into the wood and it don't matter because it's just a piece of trash wood I'm going to throw away <clears throat> it's working really well you got to be smarter than the thing that you're working on <laughs> alright <laughs> bye alright now that I have one made um I can use it to mark where the other holes are gonna go. So what I can do is, line this up like that, draw a little circle right there, and that's where the hole goes. So 
So now I don't have to measure everything out every time. Um, all right. Uh, I'll do that and drill the rest of the holes and I'll see you after that. All right, well, I got the first side done with all the holes drilled. And now I'm gonna take a grinder and clean up. See how when you drill, there's like little bits left over. I'm gonna clean up all of that and then uh, grind this metal down and put some primer on it. All right, I'm gonna paint these, but uh, I don't want to have to paint them one at a time, so I'm going to make take a coat hanger and make 10 little hooks to hang them with. They don't have to be very long. Um, maybe only like an inch or two. So I should have enough here to make 10. So I'm just going to bend a hook on one side and bend a hook on the other side, like that. Then I can take this piece and hang it there and then hang it on something and spray paint it so they can hang up to dry. Well, I got all the pieces cleaned with acetone and then I hung them up and now I'm going to spray paint them. Okay, that's the uh, primer on there. Now I'm gonna put the gloss top coat on. That is the top coat. I'll uh, let that dry and then I'll show you what they look like afterwards. All right, they're all dry. That's what they look like. Awesomeness. Now I have to do all of this again because uh, this is 10, but I need 20. But I didn't want to do too many at the same time because I can only hang so many on this piece of metal. <laughs> Uh, but I'll do the rest tomorrow and then, uh, we'll start putting the boards on. Well, I got the, uh, brackets on. That's what they look like on the, uh, the trailer. Then I'm going to lay the board on top of here and a board on top of here all the way down and mark them out and drill the holes. Um, but that's all for this video. I'll do the boards next time. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and share and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time.